Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So we're heading down to the last month of the NFL season and playoff positioning is very important at this point of the season, so every game is vital. But before we get into our picks, I want to ask you if you have not already joined to join up. You'll have access to the Z Code VIP Club section right here and have all the tools you need to help make your picks. So let's take a look at some of these games for this weekend. Let me scroll down here. And the first one we want to take a look at here is the Cleveland Browns and the Tennessee Titans. Both teams head into the game with an 8-3 record, an excellent position for the playoffs. See, both teams are burning hot. You can see that the Titans have our favorites at 1.37 to 3.175 odds. And... The over-under is at 54.5. And you can see the point spread here is 6.5 in favor of the Titans. Look at the power ranking indicator. You can see that Cleveland just has a very narrow edge at plus 25 to plus 24. Head-to-head -head matchups they played last season. And look at this. Tennessee dominated as a road underdog 43-13. to 13. Take a look at the totals predictor if you're considering the over and under. You can see that right here, Cleveland is playing games trending under the line. Tennessee is playing in games trending over the line. So it's probably best to avoid the over under, but you could bet the over because uh, you consider here that Tennessee is much more over the line. You know, so you might want to edge that way, but I probably would avoid betting on that. But if you feel risky, you can go ahead and bet the over under. So. Now let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been? And see, Cleveland is very stable at plus seven compared to plus two. What does that mean? That means they are very consistently performing according to their favorite underdog status. But I think that's going to be different this time around. Tennessee has just owned Cleveland. And I expect them to win again. So I expect the Titans to win. And I think they will also cover the spread. Point in Chicago. That should be a good game, but we're not going to look at that one. Indianapolis and Houston. Next one we want to look at as we scroll down through the list here. Way down the list. A lot of games this weekend. Full schedule. Here we go. The Rams and the Cardinals. In this NFC West matchup, both teams, well not both teams, excuse me, the Rams enter at 7-4. They are a game ahead of the Cardinals who enter at 6-5. You see both teams are averaged down at the moment. The Rams have a 1.62 to 2.355 uh, favorite with a point spread of minus 3.5 and over under of 48.5. Look at the power ranking indicator. Notice that the Rams are at plus 26, the Cardinals are at plus 20. Look at the head to head matchup. You can see last season, the Rams won both meetings by 7 at home and by 27 on the road. If you're considering the over and under, the Rams, look at this, are playing games trending well under the line. And the Cardinals also playing in games trending well under the line. So this is an excellent opportunity to bet the under and win some money on that one. The Lotelli Osser, how consistent have the teams been? You can see neither team has been extremely consistent. That means they're not performing according to their favorite underdog stats. So take that into mind. Let's take a look at the, uh, the money line here. You can see 71% public percentages for Cardinals over the Rams. Spread 74% for the Cardinals. So you can take a look at this public percentage to see how the people are feeling about this matchup. What I think is going to happen, though, uh, the Rams just seem to have the advantage over the Cardinals. They seem to have their number. I believe that trend will continue. The Rams will win and cover the spread. New England and the Chargers. Here's a good game. New England coming in at 5-6. and six. The Chargers coming in at 3-8. and eight. So both teams are going to be playing for their playoff lives. So that's what should make this an interesting contest. Both teams really need to win and get help from other teams. You can see that New England is average at the moment. The Chargers are ice cold down. You see the odds, dead even at 1.91, and it's 
a slight point spread favorite here you see for New England at minus one and a half with an over under of 47.5. If you look at the power ranking indicator, no, neither team is as high as expected looking at their rankings. I mean, season records, I mean. So New England's at plus nine. They dropped from plus 15 just a week ago. And the Chargers are at plus four. Considering the over and under in this game, the Patriots are playing in games trending under the line. The Chargers playing in games trending over the line. Usually when it happens like that, I would avoid betting the over and under. And I would suggest that here. If you look at the uh, how consistent the teams have been. Oh, Tony Osray. Look at the Chargers here at plus five. And the Patriots here at plus one. So the Chargers have been more consistent according to the favorite underdog status. What I think is going to happen, though, is I believe that the Chargers will not win at home. I believe that New England will take this one on the road and cover the spread, of course, if they're going to win. They will likely win by more than a point. I think it's going to be by at least a field goal. The Washington football team and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Both teams come in at burning hot, but the, uh, Washington's at 4-7 and seven in the NFC East. Pittsburgh is at 10 and 0. You can see there's a huge favorite for the Steelers, 1.21 to 4.770. That translates to a point spread line of minus 10. The over under line, you notice, has not been set here at this point, but, but take that into consideration, though, when you take a look at the totals predictor. You see that this Washington is playing in games over the line, Pittsburgh playing in games slightly over the line. Even though I don't know what the line is yet, I still think it's probably going to be a higher scoring game. Look for this game to go over the, the line in a fairly safe bet doing that. If you take a look at the power rankings indicator, you see that Pittsburgh's at plus 31. Washington is at plus 24. I really don't think this, the Redskins have much of a chance here. I know they're, you know, they've been playing well lately, but the Steelers are just too strong. I think uh, Washington will hang with them for a while, but Pittsburgh is too overpowering. They will take over late. They will win. They will cover. And now we're going to look at Buffalo and San Francisco. Buffalo's average up. San Francisco is average. The Bills lead the AFC East with an 8 and 3 record. The 49ers are last in the NFC West with a 5 and 6 record. You see Buffalo is a 1.64 to 2.23. Favorite, that translates to a point spread line of 2.5 with an over-under of 45.5. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, they have not played since 2016, so that doesn't really make any difference in this one. The power rankings indicator shows that the Bills here are at plus 21. They have dropped from plus 29. And you can see the foreigners have been on a continuous decline. They are at plus 10. So considering the over-under in this one, Look at this. You see a huge over the line for the, the Bills. Look at that. By six points over the line. 49ers slightly over the line. I believe this one will go over. This one will be a higher scoring contest. If you look at how consistent the two teams have been. You can see that 49ers have been very inconsistent at minus one. Buffalo is at plus five. That is more indication to go with Buffalo. I believe that the Bills will win this one and cover the spread. And that is it for the games for this week. As you see, there's Dallas and, and, and Baltimore, but we're not taking a look at that one. So there you have it. Those are the games for this week. Hope you enjoy. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.